In the golden era of Formula One, speed was king, but dominance was rare. Everyone chased the giants, Ferrari, Honda, and Maserati. Yet in 1967, something quietly emerged from the shadows. A Ford engine. No one expected it, and no one could predict it would change the sport forever. It would dominate, spark controversies, divide teams, and force legends to rise or fall. The desperation of Lotus. Colin Chapman, the genius of Lotus, was desperate. His H16 engines, essentially two V8s bolted together, were fragile, unreliable, and prone to catastrophic failure mid-race. Entire Grand Prix weekends were lost before the first corner. Keith Duckworth at Cosworth approached the challenge differently. Instead of chasing sheer cylinder count, he envisioned every component working perfectly in harmony. Compact, lightweight, efficient, high revving. The philosophy was holistic engineering decades ahead of its time. Duckworth also had to contend with skeptical teams, industry politics, and Ford's corporate oversight. Nothing about the DFV was guaranteed. Every calculation, every part, had to be perfect by hand, long before CAD or simulations existed. Birth of a legend. Ford invested 100,000 pounds, and Duckworth began work on the DFV, double four valve, hand-drawn, handmade, every calculation painstaking. Every firing stroke, a force of seven tons, had to be perfect. Four valves per cylinder allowed more air and fuel in, more exhaust out. Lighter pistons, flat plane crank, and a load-bearing design made the engine part of the car's structure. The Lotus 49, the first car to house it, was ready. Graham Hill in one car, Jim Clark in the other. The engine roared to life, immediately showing brilliance and danger. Debut Drama The Lotus 49 debuted. Graham Hill's engine catastrophically failed. Cam gear snapped, piston shattered, rod tore through the block. Disaster! Jim Clark, starting from the back, won the race, cementing the DFV's legend. Suddenly, smaller teams could access the same technology as giants. Whispers of illegal modifications, exotic fuels, and secret tweaks spread. The DFV wasn't just winning races, it was challenging the very structure of F1 politics and engineering. Dominance and Records Over 15 years, the DFV won 155 Grand Prix, 131 poles, and powered 12 Drivers' Championships. Drivers like Jim Clark, Jackie Stewart, Emerson Fittipaldi, James Hunt, and Mario Andretti became legends atop it. Teams like Lotus, McLaren, Brabham, Tyrrell, March. Anyone who could pay Ford gained access. Its compact design enabled unprecedented aerodynamic innovation. It fit into ground-effect Venturi tunnels, maximizing downforce. Its reliability allowed drivers to push boundaries, turning cars into extensions of their skill. But with success came envy. Ferrari, BRM, and Alfa Romeo were furious. Rumors of underground tweaks and illegal modifications swirled. DFV's dominance forced rivals into engineering arms races and political maneuvering within FIA regulations. Engineering masterpiece, early DFVs pushed legal and mechanical limits with experimental fuels, exotic materials, and high-stress metallurgy. Small teams ran ghost cars copying big team designs. Cosworth's openness and Ford's sales strategy fueled debates over dominance and fairness. Even in the turbo era, DFV still won. The 90-degree V8 double four valve balanced power with compactness. Four valves per cylinder, DOHC, with cup followers, ultralight pistons, and a 168-kilogram aluminium block enabled high revs. As a stressed chassis member, it improved handling and cut weight. Lucas fuel injection and spur gear drives ensured precision and reliability. 
Its narrow, modular design enabled ground effect airflow, maximizing downforce. Powerful, reliable, lightweight, yet unpredictable. The DFV wasn't just an engine, it was a weapon that transformed F1, forged champions, and sparked controversy. Driver Stories and Feats Jim Clark exploited his power with grace, and Jackie Stewart relied on its reliability to dominate championships. Fittipaldi, Hunt, and Andretti all carved history atop the DFV. Some rival engineers called it cheap, a crutch for smaller teams. Yet it dictated rivalries, politics, and championship outcomes. Its structural design saved lives, and catastrophic failures became cautionary legends. Each lap highlighted the balance of genius and danger. Controversy and haters. The DFV sparked debates. Should one engine dominate? Could Cosworth sales be stopped? FIA regulations, secret fuel formulas, and underground tweaks made every season a chess match. It created rivalries, arguments, and corporate battles off track. Fans adored it. Teams feared it. Engineers studied it. Some to copy, others to sabotage. Every catastrophic failure reminded the paddock that, despite brilliance, it was still a machine, a beast capable of destroying pistons, rods, and reputations in a second. Enduring Legacy For 15 years, the DFV powered victories, forged champions, and reshaped F1. Its philosophy, lightweight, reliable, compact, efficient, high revving, set the blueprint for future engines. It became legend not just for numbers, but for its impact on racing, engineering, and the sport itself. It wasn't just an engine, it was drama, politics, genius, controversy, and triumph. Ford Cosworth DFV, the heart of a revolution. Thanks for watching. Now you know why the Ford Cosworth DFV wasn't just an engine, it was the heart of a revolution. The drivers, the teams, the records, they all mattered because of it. If this story amazed you, hit like, share your thoughts, and subscribe to keep uncovering the legends of motorsport.